Welcome back to the Fuel to Future. The Kong fighter jet represents a monumental leap in Turkey's defense and aerospace industry. Previously known as TFX, Khan is Turkey's first domestically produced fifth-generation stealth fighter jet. Designed and developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TIE in collaboration with Aselsan, Havelsan, and with technological support from base systems, the Khan project has quickly become a centerpiece of Turkey's growing defense ecosystem. From the outset, Khan was envisioned as a multi-role, high-performance aircraft that could match or even outperform other fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, Su-57, and China SJ-20. With its maiden flight achieved in 2023 and plans for serial production by 2028, Khan is set to replace the aging F-16S in Turkey's fleet, as well as serve as a key export product. The design of Khan reflects a stealth-first philosophy. With angular lines, a pointed nose, twin-engine configuration, and twin vertical stabilizers, it shares aesthetic similarities with the F-22 Raptor. It is approximately 21 meters long, with a wingspan of 14 meters, and an estimated maximum takeoff weight of 27,000 kilograms. Its frameless bubble canopy provides excellent pilot visibility and reduces radar cross-section RCS. The airframe is built using radar absorbent materials and composite structures to maintain stealth performance in various mission environments. Stealth capabilities are further enhanced by internal weapon bays that allow Khan to maintain a clean profile without compromising weapon load. Unlike legacy fighters that carry missiles and bombs externally, Khan conceals its armaments to avoid radar detection. The use of advanced infrared suppression in the engine exhaust and ram coatings throughout the airframe plays a critical role in limiting its detectability to enemy sensors. Currently, Khan is powered by two General Electric F110 GE129 engines each delivering 29,000 pounds of thrust. These engines are sufficient for high-speed maneuvering and potentially super cruise, though Turkey aims to transition to an indigenous engine developed by T. The long-term goal is to produce a power plant that supports sustained supersonic speeds without afterburners, increases thrust-to-weight ratio, and reduces infrared signature. The cockpit is designed for next-generation warfare. It includes a fully digital glass interface, voice command systems, AI-assisted decision-making tools, and a wide-area touchscreen display. The pilot wears a helmet-mounted display HMD that projects critical data onto the visor, enabling 360-degree targeting, threat tracking, and engagement without needing to look through traditional HUD systems. Sensor fusion is a key capability in Khan. All onboard sensors including AESA radar, IRST infrared search and track, EOTS electro-optical targeting system, and RWR radar warning receiver are linked together using advanced data processing algorithms to present a comprehensive battlefield view. This integrated awareness allows the pilot to make quick and informed decisions during high-stakes engagements. Turkey's defense firms, Aselsan and Havelsan, have developed the AESA radar in-house. It is a highly agile radar capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously across air, sea, and ground. This radar can detect stealth aircraft, resist jamming, and guide weapons with pinpoint precision. Combined with onboard AI, Khan can automatically prioritize threats, suggest evasive maneuvers, and even engage targets semi-autonomously in emergency scenarios. Khan's weapon systems are versatile and indigenously sourced. It is capable of carrying a mix of short and long-range air-to-air missiles, air-to-ground precision munitions, cruise missiles, and possibly hypersonic weapons in the future. Among the confirmed payloads are the Gokdogan Peregrine BVR missile, Vazdogan Merlin short-range missile, SOMJ stealth cruise missile, and various smart bombs developed by Rocket Sen. In combat, Khan can switch seamlessly between air superiority, strike, and close air support roles. 
it can engage multiple enemy aircraft while simultaneously striking ground targets. The internal weapons bay is expected to hold at least 8 missiles or precision bombs, while external hardpoints can be utilized for additional payload in non-stealth missions. Flight performance is a critical area where Khan is expected to shine. With a top speed exceeding Mach 1.8, a combat radius of over 1,100 km, and a service ceiling of 55,000 feet, the jet is optimized for both endurance and agility. Future versions may include thrust vectoring capabilities for super maneuverability, enabling tight turns and advanced dogfighting tactics. The Khan project is not only about speed and firepower but also survivability in modern electronic warfare scenarios. The aircraft features digital jamming pods, electronic countermeasures, towed decoys, and sensor jamming tools that provide a high level of protection in contested environments. Its RWR system can detect radar locks and automatically deploy countermeasures or recommend evasive actions to the pilot. Cybersecurity has been given top priority. Given the digitization of modern jets, Khan is built to resist cyber intrusions, signal jamming, and data spoofing. Its secure data link systems allow it to communicate and coordinate with allied aircraft, drones, and ground control stations without risking data breaches. Perhaps one of the most ambitious aspects of the Khan program is its role in multi-platform warfare. TIE is developing the jet to work in unison with unmanned wingmen such as Bayraktar Kazil Elma. These AI-powered drone companions will share targeting data, act as decoys, and even engage in combat alongside the manned Khan. This human-machine teaming will extend Turkey's air dominance and reduce pilot risk in high threat zones. The broader implications of Khan are as significant as its technical specs. With this aircraft, Turkey aims to join the elite group of nations that can produce advanced fighter jets without foreign dependence. After being removed from the F-35 program due to political disagreements, Turkey pivoted aggressively toward self-sufficiency. Khan is the answer to that challenge a sovereign fighter jet that showcases technological resilience. For Turkey, Khan is not just a combat platform, it's a tool of diplomacy and defense diplomacy. It opens doors to defense exports, joint development programs, and strategic military partnerships. Potential customers include Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Indonesia, and Malaysia countries looking for an affordable fifth-generation alternative without Western restrictions. The development roadmap for Khan is divided into phases. The first generation, powered by the GE engines, will undergo intensive flight testing and validation through 2026. Serial production is slated to begin by 2028. Future blocks will incorporate the indigenous engine, AI pilot support systems, drone integration, and possibly a naval version for deployment on Turkey's amphibious assault ships like the TCG Anadolu. Despite its progress, Khan is not without challenges. Developing a true fifth-generation fighter requires billions in R&D, years of testing, and extensive pilot training infrastructure. Without complete control over engine technology, Turkey will remain partially dependent on external suppliers until the T-engine is finalized. Moreover, maintaining cost competitiveness against rivals like China and Russia will be difficult unless production scales up significantly. International politics may also shape Khan's future. Depending on Turkey's alignment and foreign policy, export permissions, and alliances will be critical to reaching the aircraft's full commercial potential. Nevertheless, Turkey has demonstrated that it can deliver complex systems from UAVs to missiles and Khan is the crown jewel in that journey. Looking ahead, the role of Khan will likely evolve. The integration of AI co-pilots, swarm drones, hypersonic missile compatibility, and advanced modular architecture ensures that the platform can be updated for decades. 
It is also likely to benefit from Turkey's investments in space technologies, quantum encryption, and sensor miniaturization. Ultimately, Khan is a story of ambition, engineering, and strategic foresight. It proves that with political will, industrial focus, and a long-term vision, even a non-traditional aerospace power can break into the most exclusive club in military aviation. The success of Khan will not just redefine Turkey's defense posture it could reshape the global fighter jet market. From the drawing board to the runway, Khan represents the future of Turkish air power a future where autonomy, innovation, and strategic depth take flight.